Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new game. Well, a new game for me. Uh, Stellaris, specifically Stellaris, Star Trek New Horizons mod. Um, got Stellaris way back in the day, what, seven, eight years ago when it came out, or however long it came out. Um, played it, liked it, but I always kind of just kind of went, meh. There's always something about it that was kind of missing for me. And then out came this mod. Tried it, played it played it a lot <laughs> and now i thought i'd share it so what we're going to do is we're going to play as the dominion in the star trek universe as you can see here we can play as the federation the klingons the romulans the cardassians the dominion i'm going to assume we're going to be able to hook up with them later on the borg the ferengi the antedians the anakins the pejorans the beta zeds the sorry the beta zoids um, the Breen, the Binars, the Catian, the Deltan, the Nunobian, etc., 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 the Tholian. Now, you'll notice that some of these have the little Dominion ship beside them. I'm running the Dominion UI, obviously. Um, it shows you all the different quadrants, which is really good. So you have the Alpha Quadrant, the Beta Quadrant, the Gamma Quadrant, well, we're going to start, and the Delta Quadrant. So if you guys don't know much about Star Trek, uh, Earth, aka Soul, is on the border between the Alpha in the beta quadrant the klingons and the romulans are the big 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 guys in the beta quadrant in the alpha quadrant it's mostly the federation because it kind of spread to the west a little bit uh the tholians the cardassians uh the ferengi um yeah it's mostly it a lot of other species obviously i believe the andoran and the vulcans are technically alpha are technically alpha aliens um, in the Gamma Quadrant, obviously the big one is the Dominion. Uh, but you also have, you kind of scroll up here, anything in purple is technically in the um, in the Gamma Quadrant. I think. No, the sorry, the, the name's purple. So for example, if we scroll down here, because everything here in blue is an Alpha Squad, is an Alpha Squadron, an Alpha um, Quadrant species. Anything in red is Beta, hence red, red. Okay, so the Andorans are technically... Uh, Beta quadrant. Interesting. The Bazarians, Bolians. Good to know. Uh, if we scroll down here, the Sona. Here we have the purple. We have the Agarathi, the Dosad, Herc, the Kremen, the Nivarite, the. I always get this wrong. The Ocean, Ocean Hunters, the Rakari, the Scream, the Rojan, uh, the Wadi, the Yadirian. These are all the people that we're going to be dealing with mostly. Now the Dosai, the Kremen, um, even the Oshen, the Wadi, and the Adarans, they're pretty much going to people and the, and the Rakari are going to be people that we're basically just going to go to war with um, pretty, pretty early on. And we're probably going to beat the living daylights out of them because we are, in the end, the Dominion. We have the Changelings as our leader. So we have all these little options here. So, for example, we have authoritarianism allows the allows the statified economy living standards can enslave aliens cannot use democratic government reforms overall we have a plus point a plus half uh, monthly influence which we will be utilizing to build stuff and then wa uh, worker basic resource output is up five percent which is good we also have xenophobe so we can purge aliens we can enslave aliens uh decreased opinion of other species uh, we cannot give aliens full citizenship. We cannot allow aliens uh, full military service. We cannot use refugees welcome. Basically, we have three different species in our in our group. We've got the founders, which are, you know, our gods. We have our warriors and our fighters, uh, which are our Jem'Hadar. And then we have our scientists and overall strategists and the people that basically do all the um, administrative work. And that is the Vorta. And everyone else will be a slave. And then last but not least, oh, and then that actually gives us a negative 20% to our influence cost when it comes to star bases and a plus 10% defense to our hulls. Uh, we also have the merged awareness that gives us a 25% uh, governing ethics attraction. No idea what that means, but it says we no longer try to explain to outsiders the, maj the majesty of our link. A merging of form and thought, a sharing of idea and sensation in the face of the kind of unity all divisions and rivalries are forgotten. As you can see here, if you've never seen Deep Space Nine, you need to watch it. 
you'll understand what I'm talking about when I say these guys are awesome. The other side of the ocean becomes a drop. Ruler level cap, plus two, monthly unity, minus 10%. But united, the dominion can never be broken. But even when alone, every single changeling carries within itself a millennium knowledge and all the trappings, connection, arrogance, confidence, and abilities of a god. Then we have the drop becomes the ocean. That gives us a minus 15 to consumer goods upkeep and a 25% to our administrative cap. No idea what that means. But perfect unity in the Great Link is a very heart of the Dominion. So basically what the what the changelings do, if you don't know, um, their species obviously Deep Space Nine, they are the quintessential bad guy. Um, they don't care about anybody else. Everyone else is below them. And they want to bring order to chaos. Um, that's it. Our planet is basically a large ocean of goop, which is the changelings. So the founders, who are basically our overall people, have a couple options. And the our little things here. So for example, our founders are conformists. Governing ethics attraction plus 30%. The people always seek consensus and are likely to conform to the government ethics. Basically, whatever we decide the governing rules are going to be, um, if we decide to change anything, all the changelings will be like, oh, okay, cool. Shapeshifter. Our leader's lifespan is 928 years. Our overall changeling growth is negative 99%. The founders we have are the founders we have. That is it. Here's the only problem with this. If we play the game for a thousand years, all the founders will be dead. Just, just, yeah, keep that in mind. And overall leader cost, 300%. This species is compatible of uh, impersonating a wide variety of forms and its natural state appears to be a fluid. Basically, they're goop, um, but can take form. Now, this will actually be important later on because what we're going to be doing as changelings is sending out changelings to replace people in other, in other empires to basically get things like science and stuff. It'll be actually pretty good. Last but not least, matter, matter, master geneticists. None can hope to compete with their magist sorry, mastery of genetic engineering. In time, they can reach levels of expertise in which the galaxy has never seen. It unlocks a new path of advanced genetic engineering techniques. Basically, later on, we can do little modifications to any of the species that we, uh, we conquer, if I'm not mistaken. And we can also make little tweaks to um, uh, little tweaks to the Jem'Hadar and the Vorta. Overall, here is our little breakdown. Just notice this. That's interesting. But easy difficulty, Gamma Quadrant. Well, I'm not good at this game, so it is going to be played on Cadet, I think, is the lowest setting. But uh, yeah. The Dominion is a large state in the Gamma Quadrant. Founded on the absolute rule of the changelings, known as the Founders. They use a subspecies to enact their will. The Vorta act as the commanders, administrators, scientists, and diplomats for the founders. Utter loyalty to the utter loyal to their will. The military on the Dominion is run by the Jem'Hadar, a genetically engineered race who are birthed and genetically modified to be the perfect soldier. Their loyalty is guaranteed by a drug called Kitracel White, which is their sole source of food and nourishment. So basically, our two main species in our or the three species in our in our empire are the changelings the forta and the jem'hadar jem'hadar is going to do all our fighting they're our soldiers they're going to be in our navy doing all the, the hard stuff and the forta basically do all the administrative work so pretty much everything here will be the same i think i'm going to change this down one yet to cadet just because i suck at this game iron man is going to be off aggressiveness is going to be normal um everything else is just going to stay the same you're going to play now one of the things about this game uh, i will warn people about is this game is slow uh, especially this, the, the well, not not the game, but the mod. The mod is very, very, very slow. So definitely want to keep that in mind uh, for people. Just see, so uh, just so you know. Just because we don't understand a life form doesn't mean we cannot. We can destroy it. Odo. I was gonna change that Odo to my name on uh, Xbox Live. There's a little face on the side of the uh, Enterprise. I never noticed. Right there. Yeah, that's the Empress, 171D. 
Yeah, so loading times take a long time on this thing. There's, I mean, the game itself, in, in all, the mod itself takes a little while. So here we go. We are the founders. We are the Dominion. We once roamed the stars and explored them as many other species do today. But the souls feared us in our shape-shifting abilities. We were hunted, and we had to hide. We have come to the conclusion that the only way we could ever be truly safe was ruling over the Sullens and leading them with our wisdom. It is the order of things. And so, assisted by our loyal Vorta administrators, our Jem'Hadar soldiers, may we succeed in bringing a new era to the galaxy, an era in which the lesser species are guided by us to ensure the true order is observed. And here's a little quote. The Dominion has endured for over 2,000 years and will continue to endure long after the Federation has crumbled into dust. And it looks like we actually have this. Oh, okay, that's just telling us about the... There we go. So first things first, we're going to set up our scientists here. Um, Lynn, you're going to research... Nutrient enricher. You... I don't need to worry about synthetic country so white, but I do need corgazine. Um, and I do want to get trillium D early on as well. We're going to bring up the map here by hitting M. So there's a few things we need to, we, we need to get early on. Option, first things first. So Bajor. <sighs> Marconoid Nebula. Briar Patch. So Somewhere around here is Bajor. So that is where. Yeah. So somewhere around here is the Bajorans. They have their end of the wormhole. Somewhere south of us. I'm going to assume it's one of these three is Idrin, which is our end of the wormhole. We need to get Indrin as fast as possible because we do not want the Alpha Quadrant and Beta Quadrant species that have the access to that wormhole to come into our end. We want to make a fortified monstrosity of a base at Idrin so that if the Alpha and Beta Quadrants come, we will have this nice big defense for them. Um, with that in mind, though, a few things I want to do. Number one is get you two ready to go. Okay. I want to build right away. I want to look to see what we have here. So the Founder's Planet is always going to have just the Great Link in it. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to be as is. You can build planet buildings, but they're going to be limited. In Gar Adam, we have some cloning facilities. I want to make sure that one planet makes Jahrar and one makes Vorda. And then we're going to back. So this one. We got a population. It is making Jem Hadar. This one is making Forta. This one's making Borta. So now this one is being switched over to Jem Hadar. Because I need Jem Hadar being made and I need Vorta being made. So that is that. Now everyone, as long as there's a cloning facility on the planet, we're good. Uh, we're doing good for all our resources, but we're gonna need alloys real quick. So what planet has the most amount? Pearl Prime. I'm going to make into my... Whoops. Um, I'm going to make it into my mining world. I think. Dilithium? No. Because you don't have dilithium here. Oh, you have the dilithium mine right there. Okay, you're going to be in my dilithium mine can planet there. Can I build another one? Yes, I can build dilithium refineries. Okay. So you do... You have an output of 15, so I'm going to need to build this soon. So that way I have dilithium. So we're going to be producing 15 raw dilithium, which is good. Oh, here we go. Dilithium. Oh, no, we are producing. Okay, we're good. Okay. We're just using some. Um, can I build a dilithium mine? Or is it like max on one per planet? I can build synthetic uh, lithium manufacturing. Okay. What about Braggs? Okay, you have six. Okay. 
you... Right off the bat, I'm going to want to get a wall bot. I'm going to get you to build an alloy foundry when you're good to go. So, construction ship here. There's nothing for me to exploit immediately because I want to get another science ship because one of the things in this game is it does take a long time. So you're going to go down in the survey. You're going to move just to crawl for now. We're going to unpause. I usually go to full speed right away in this game. Allow me to introduce oh. myself. I am Q. Just Q from the Q continuum. Trust me, I'm all that. Omnipotent, omniscient, handsome. <laughs> Anyhow, I've deigned your pathetic civilization to be at least somewhat worthy of my advice and guidance. The challenges ahead for you here are different enough from what you've encountered before that you'd be a fool to turn down my offer. As a token of my generosity, I'd like to offer you an... Ah, have a nice shiny mineral. One mineral? We get one mineral. <laughs> uh, that's basically, I think, the tu like not the tutorial, but like the basically the, just the the help. Right. So already we got a bit of a problem here. This lacks housing, has unemployment, and can build a building. Well, what I'm going to be doing is building an alloy factory once we have three hundred. There we go. Because this will put out, what, six alloy? So once I can get another alloy f uh, foundry going, this will give me an additional 12. And then I'm going to need them for, obviously, building stuff. Do I need alloy? I need alloy to build another shipyard. You know what? Let's, do, let's burn that sink already. So I want to build another science ship and another construction ship. Ah, yes, Dilithium. Wonderful crystals. You can accumulate them in two different ways. Either build a refinery on planetary tile that have raw Dilithium, or build a mining station around a raw Dilithium deposit on some forsaken asteroid. If you build a mining station, you will also need to build an orbital refinery, either on a deep space station or a habitat. Both methods will get you processed Dilithium, which is the important thing, really. You can even build a small refinery on your star bases for a small kick of processed dilithium. Gather more processed dilithium to unlock new levels in the dilithium industry policy. This will in turn provide additional naval capacity for your empire. Ah, so basically dilithium, good thing. Uh, edicts. So we have peace festivals, religious unity, and research grants. Right now, I don't want to spend that because that's going to go into me building. We're gonna go to Judy. When you're done, you're gonna go there and then there. Let's kind of hope. Construction complete. You. There we go. Construction complete. Uh, Ally factory. So we're at 166, so I think I can build another science ship now. Yep. When we're at 171, I'm going to build another construction ship. So they do need dilithium to be built, which makes sense. Uh, what am I going to do here? A number of scientists across the Dominion believe they have identified signs of change in the timeline. Following a wave of chroniton radiation being de 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 detected sweeping across the quadrant at super, super liminal. Hmm. Uh, velocities. So far, no one has been able to identify the, the purpose, the supposed changes. Okay, so that pops up whenever something happens according to the actual timeline, an event or something, and the event goes different. Or someone did something in the universe, like government-wise or whatever, and did something completely different. So what do I want to do here? Planet build speed up 25%. If I adopt it. So if I adopt this, the first stage of period of treating... Planet build speed up 0.25%. Building upkeep is down 10%. That would be good for the short term, like kind of getting things going. Stability by 10. Minerals from jobs. Motherland. Ship build speed. 
Well, in the defensive wall, I don't plan on being on defensive wars. We're just cramped by 10. Okay, victory. This will be good long, like, once I've got grown and I, I need to start attacking people. This will be good because obviously I need to do claims. Frontier. Colony development. Dominion. Uh, tree allows you to subjugate and vassalize other empires. Okay. That's not anything I need right now. Ship build costs. Population food upkeep. That's no big deal. Anomaly research. Oh. I think I'm going to go purity for now. Because that gives me the ability to build faster early on. So with my, up, with my upkeep down and things like that, I can basically build stuff cheaper. Uh, so here is the events we get every now and then. So the ocean becomes the drop. The drop becomes the ocean. The Great Link binds all changelings. And it is a link that this decisions key to our security are made. As the swell and the sway of the link turns once again to matters of state, a number of options are available. Number, option number one, replace a solid leader. Number two, engage in contemplations, which doesn't do anything. And last three, do nothing. This actually negatively impacts you, and I can't remember what it is, so I might just pick this to show you guys. But this one here, um, replace a solid leader. Right now we can't pick it because we also don't know any basically we don't know anybody yet so i'm gonna go engage in contemplations oh actually we do get something never mind by engaging in deep contemplation we may gain insight that eludes the day-to-day -day clarity of the link dominion 50 so we got 50 unity we lost 50 unity and construction complete oh. uh have a word survey yeah i got more important things to do because i'm not gonna be able to do that you, wow, found me nothing of importance. Uh, we're going to recruit somebody here. Research speed 3, research speed 50. Oh, here we go. Research speed 2, but you're also a shapeshifter, and you're also, like, ridiculously expensive. So I'm going to pick you. Then I'm going to pick someone else to be on this ship. And I'm actually going to pick... I know, I know, I'm missing someone, but that person is going to be you, because you now can research 5% faster. And then you are going to come down here, and you're going to explore that, because both of you. Survey, and survey. If one of these is Idrin, I will be happy very, very early. Um, yeah, I need alloys still, so... Uh, changing reproduction is typically a slow mechanism. With the full effort of the Great Link, it can be sped up, if only for a limited time. Changes in growth increased. Founder, modify pops by adding the shapeshifter reproduction trait. Okay. Later on, we'll also be able to, like, terraform planets and stuff, so that'll make it Construction easier. complete. That's Tharda. Um, you know what? I'm going to take this one, only because it just gives me some thing to do um are both of you no not even both of you are there yet technology we secured learned how to get cortisine in the marine time marine time construction oh, complete two um we'll go with um division headquarters Bunker network. Both of those need Trillium D. We don't have access to Trillium D. We're still researching it. Even then, none of these plants have it. So we'll go with the Soil Enrichment Center. Because I can get more food. I can then use that food to boost populations. Technology secured. I think you need population. Yeah, so let's go with... Let's get that. I think that should be okay for unemployment. What are you? Oh, we now have the ability to exploit trend. We need, oh, so, okay, topoline. Technology I'm gonna pause Topoline is what you need to get shields. So we're going to research that immediately. Uh, ooh, is this the next 
allows faster warp up speed by utilizing. Yep. So that is a better warp engine, which will be good. I can colonize the Pelagic planets. Here we go. Uh, Slack two and Colton. Star system charted. Five. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're gonna build that there for me. So this might be Idrin. What do we want here? Do we want improve our stability, or do we want to get more minerals? I want more minerals. Thank you. Tactical retreat. Whoa. Construction complete. Okay. Was not expecting that. After day in orbit around SPO 140 with no progress and locating the source of unusual suspect readings, Captain Etivolt. Uh, prepare to give an order to move on to the DNS Kozikimis. Uh, next survey target. Moments later, the sh uh, ship sensors detect a surge in subspace activity, followed by the appearance of an alien ship off the port bow. Hailing the vessel proves fruitless. After several minutes of silent confrontation, the ship warps away. So we can follow it, we can wait for it to return, or we can leave orbit because we don't want to confront it. Um, let's attempt to follow it. We are the Dominion after all. I'm also going to get another science ship and another construction ship going. Uh, within the minutes of the end uh, of the end, uh, entering warp, the DNS, whatever, uh, sensor lock on the vessel starts to deteriorate. Five minutes more and the ship has disappeared from the sensors completely. Uh, Captain, whatever orders additional power to the sensors and another subspace disturbance is detected several light hours away. Arriving, the coordinates of the vessel appears to be attempting to wind the disturbance through a tachyon emission of an unknown nature. However, the as the DNS whatever uh, draws near, the emissions are cut. The vessel raises its shields, powers up what appears to be weapon systems. Let's hail them. Oh, we earned some sense. Perfect. The DNS, whatever, communication operator repeats on all frequencies, hail uh, to the alien vessel. The bridge crew awaits response. Intense silence, but only the hum of the ship's engines in the background. An alert chimes. The aliens have returned the hail. A strange, almost fungal form appears on the view screen. With a series of clicks, low moans are heard throughout the communication system. I'm Captain Yetavol of the DNS, whatever. The captain begins before detailing the ship's mission in the system. With every new sound from the alien, the DNS, whatever, you know, translator system starts to construct a model of its language until the last broken phrases are overlaid and blah, 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 followed by full sentences. The, a dialogue has begun. The alien describes itself as the Eleki and says it's on a mission for its overlord and it cannot fail. Its orders are to not interfere with other species but our hills piqued its curiosity 10 minutes of conversation later it announces it's time for it to depart and regrets not it regrets how unlikely it is to ever meet with captain whatever again the xenology department or sorry xenology department eagerly looks forward to reviewing the data acknowledged you're building a construction ship and a science ship perfect Oh, we now met. Oh no, that's the dosa. Yeah, survey that. Construction. That's Idrin complete. right there. That is Idrin right there. Construction complete. Let's recruit somebody new here. Uh, research speed new worlds. Research speed You're gonna go there, and then there. This construction ship is going to start doing some construction. Can I? Yeah, not yet. Um, power is good. So I think what I'm going to get you to do is just start working your way around. 
our planet itself. Start collecting science and all that jazz. Uh, do do situation log. I am not going to research these guys yet because I know the moment I do. Technology the secure. Dosi are going to take that. Please be Here's Idrin. Yes. So, Richmond Center. Uh, let's do Cultural Plaza. And then you are going to come down to Idrin immediately. And I want to build an outpost on that ASAP. I'm probably going to have to come this way. If the Dosi collect. Anomaly found. Uh, leave that for now. If the Dosi get it first, I will not be a happy guy. Uh, you're actually going to go Colton. Yeah. So I want you to research. Research. Initiate the 100 project, please. So Construction complete. The 100. 100 of our spawn will be separated from the link and sent it into the galaxy to better understand and protect against the threats of the solids posed to us. So we're going to research that. Basically, what happens is it sends it 100 changelings, and then over a certain amount of time, they come back. And whenever they come back, we earn science or what have you. Oh, please don't be a construction ship. Interesting. Technology secured. Oh. To Opaline, so now we have access to, hopefully in the future, the ability to um, uh, build shields, ship build speed, defense of war. Let's go with more stability. I mean, this really doesn't help, but I mean, I don't see anyone wanting to declare war on me, so I'm going to ignore that. Basically saying there's some sort of pox outbreak somewhere. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build another science vessel. And I'm going to hire another scientist. And that person's job is just going to be to quash stuff like that. Oh, we have met the Wadi. So now my biggest concern is either the Dosai or the Wadi are going to capture Idrin. Technology secured. Uh, Cultural Plaza is done. Let's Construction go to Academy. Complete. Thank you. Let's assign Technology a secured. Real quick. Um, I could care less as to what any of those are. You're going to go up there and immediately do that. Okay, so we now have researched the new warp drive. We're going to go for hardened fields. Um, you are actually going to get, upgraded, one another star base in the south here. We'll have one here and we'll have one here. So we have Topoline there, so that will give us the ability to now collect it. Anomaly found. Use that for now, please. That will give us the ability to, hopefully, fingers crossed, Get shields up on our ships. So how much is it going to cost me to build a star, star system chart? Immediately. Oh, we just meant whatever the tau is. So we're building this. It's really expensive because we don't have an adjacent system. Anomaly found. But I need to build it there so I can special project complete. Basically, so I can get Idrin. I want that. I want the construction complete. For me, that's probably right now one of my more important, one of my more important options. Because I want the wormhole. That gives me the ability. Special project complete. I'm pause here for a second. Um, to invade the Alpha Quadrant now, if I want to, once the wormhole has been established. When there's a whole bunch of different events, I believe, that actually cause the wormhole to occur. So then you have to actually send a ship through to see what's on the other side. The hundred have been separated from the link and sent out into the galaxy. The hundred capsules have been dispersed in every direction. The link yims. 
whatever that means. Now for the day when it will be made whole again. Though it recognizes the value the project offers. Separate one into a hundred and spread them amongst the stars. Founder population. Oh, we lose we lose one founder. Okay. No big deal. So basically what we're doing is we're taking one founder, breaking that founder into a hundred, and then firing them into basically a hundred different directions into the galaxy. Over time, they will I think theoretically it also be there's a there's an, an if this happens there's a chance that other planets will like find these founders and then they can become members of their society i think like odo for example on deep space nine but with our ship arriving at torad here thanks for watching everybody we're gonna take a little break here and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye